Okay, let's jump into this today. So I tweaked my lower back. My back is usually pretty healthy, but every now and then I tweak it. So I thought I would just go through my little routine that I do not once a day, but honestly, I'll probably do this three to four times throughout the day, maybe more. And I want you to remember that usually with healing, sitting is the enemy. And I know a lot of people say sit, rest, take anti-inflammatories. Yes, and I do believe movement is medicine. If you sit around all day, for example, and you're in the car for two hours driving, how do you feel after two hours of sitting in a car driving? Usually pretty awful. So instead, what I tend to do is, as much as I sit, I try to move just as much, not hard, cardio, intense workouts, but just simple movements like this. So let's do this. Okay, first movement I'm gonna do is just some twisting. Now, my body does not like twisting in general, so I do not push it. Although required throughout my daily life and tasks is turning around and twisting, whether I'm driving and in the car reaching for something for my children or just something from the couch and I reach over and twist. I would hate to blow my back out. So I do preventative measures by a little bit of twisting. What we'll do first is we're gonna sit up, get your chest out, your chin is up. I use my hands and all I do with my lower back, I use my knees and I pull and I pull the lower back in. I'm keeping my stomach in, I'm not pushing it out, but as my chest rises, I pull my lower back in, I arch it and then I round it slightly. I'm using my legs here to help facilitate that. So going sideways, it's such a small movement. So from here, all I'm doing is a small rounding, pushing, pulling in. I'm getting that spine moving. So before I twist, I'm trying to warm up, especially if I was sitting on the couch and I realized, man, I've been sitting here for you know 30 minutes and I haven't moved yet. I, I get down on the ground and I start doing small movements like this, especially if I'm tweaked like I am now. As always, as always, I don't give you reps or time. You do you and see how it feels. After I do that, I'll start the twisting. So what I'll do is I'll open one hand, put it on the back of my knee so knuckles touch. My second hand, I keep my posture straight, I reach behind me, and all I do is these mini little twists. In fact, it's almost just the shoulder moving. To me, right there, I feel it in my back. And I unwind, so it's a small twist. I'm always breathing out on the pain and then coming back. Sometimes if it feels good, I'll twist, I'll hold. Maybe if my back is not tweaked, I'll see how far I can push it. Again, I, I'm super careful with my back because I get injured pretty easy. Where a lot of times I'll do movements like this, I think I'm helping and then I tend to, to push it and hurt myself. Second side, same thing. I take my open hand, put the back of it on my knee. Second hand goes right behind me. First thing I do before I twist, I try to drop my knees, my glutes flat on the ground so I'm not tipped. Get my chest out. Small movement just with my shoulder to start. And as I feel better and warmed up and maybe I'm not injured, I'll reach my hand, walk it back and push just a little bit more. Each repetition, I'm always exhaling, breathing out. Okay, next I'm gonna be laying on the ground. I'm gonna straighten one leg out, straight as I can. Second foot, I'm gonna put my foot behind my knee. And again, this is a twisting movement, so I go very gentle. My right knee, left hand, First, I'm gonna glue my shoulders down to the ground. Second, grab that knee, and I slowly start twisting it over. As I twist, I'm not gonna let this shoulder pop up the best I can. I'm gonna keep it glued down. Now, here's the deal. Sometimes, while I go through this movement, I keep my shoulder down, I'm not getting very far here. And that's fine, this isn't a competition, but I just wanna see what it feels like to get this knee to the ground, because I used to be able to. So I go ahead and drop it. I purposely pull this shoulder up. I'll touch my knee down, let my whole body twist, and then I do the opposite. I keep this knee down, and I try to drive my shoulder down and do reps like that. Now, again, this twisting is very rough on my body. I'll, of course, do this on both sides, and you guys can go ahead and do it for time, reps, whatever feels best. And then, when I'm fully warmed up, then I'll also do both. So shoulder and knee is off, and what I'll do is I'll try to press them both down, exhale at the same time, and then bring them both up. Exhale as I press them both down. Oh, and then bring them both up. So do both sides, do this throughout the day. Okay, so next, what I'm gonna do is, this leg does not have to go all the way straight. I'm gonna relax it, so my right leg's relaxed. I set my foot down. My left leg, all I'm gonna work on doing is pulling my knee up to my chest. What I allow my hips to do, so instead of arching my back and keeping my lower back off the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and let my hips round and be pulled up. I wanna be gentle again, my back is tweaked today so I'm going easy here. I'm gonna grab my knee and I pull it towards my chest 
My knees don't really touch my chest very well. They actually go to my armpits better. I've got some hip uh, issues. <laughs> so as you see my knee come back, I'm pulling it back a little bit more towards my armpit. You do whatever natural groove your knee pulls back into. Don't force it out if it doesn't go. Don't force it in if it doesn't go. Just pull it back, relax your head, shoulders, and all we're gonna do is slow reps like this. And again, you can see the further I pull my knee back, the more it wants to go to the outside. And when I do a squat, my natural squat stance does tend to be toes out, knees out. So that feels healthiest for me. You do what feels healthy to you. We'll hit both sides here. And again, reps, time, that's up to you. You can spend 30 seconds doing repetitions here. You can spend three minutes, whatever feels great. Man, this side feels a lot looser. So the, whatever I did with my back, it's definitely more on my left side, traveling down my left glute leg. And what I might end up doing is just spending a little bit more time on my left side, seeing if I can get a little bit of pain relief going through some movement here. And always breathing throughout it. Oh. Okay, the last thing I want to end with is not a cat cow. I think most people have seen cat cow, but cat cow does not agree with me. You know when you're in this tabletop type of position and you're push, pushing your spine up, arching, lifting your tailbone. Now, I do that occasionally, but I'll tell you what, it just does not seem to agree with my body. So what I found instead is I sort of wag the tail back and forth. So same position. What I'll do is I'll allow my foot to move it, my feet to move at this, and I'm gonna push my hip towards you, my head away, and as I push, I can feel a little bit of my lower back, a lot of my hips on the side, and I'm just gonna go back and forth, again, as if I have a tail attached to me, and I'm wagging it back and forth like this. I feel like I get a lot of benefit out of this movement. It's almost like a serpentine. Going slow, hold on one side, pushing through, breaking the hip through, and then switching sides. And I can still feel one side is tighter than the other. But going back to cat-cow, I, I think a lot of people, and I sort of prescribe to it, if you don't like doing it, you probably need to. However, as a general statement, I hate saying that if I don't know somebody in line, you might be doing something that absolutely feels awful to you because it is awful for you. Now, for someone to say that through a video like this, for me to tell you, just push through the pain, your body needs this. I think that's a little ignorant of me, so I won't say that. And again, you can allow your feet to move a little bit, give a little bit more freedom there. So that movement, again, is so much healthier to me feeling on my body when I'm done than cat cow. So I instead do that, give that a shot, keep moving forward.